Hey you guys, it's your girl Internet, and today we're coming at you with direction and it's called Oprah finally breaks her silence on to Roger P. Henson pay allegations. Now, she know that woman ain't lying. She tried to she even tried to get that woman some penis and think she wasn't gonna say nothing about it. These people getting tired of that. Everyone is getting tired of that. We understand we're not trying to get rich, but we want what is Oh, to us, we want our work pay. If we do great work, we want great pay. And I understand sometimes we sign up for things, but we're just trying our best to just make make it through life. I mean, like just everyone, the average person, me, you, whoever, her, actors, black actors, to be Pacific. And I'm pretty sure maybe the, the you know, like the other nationality uh, people there, you know, they probably going through the same thing. Like, we don't know. But, like, it's hard. And Oprah knows she could pay them people more money than what she's doing. She know that. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you can see me. And let's get into this because I'm so sick of Oprah. I promise you I am. You know, we live in a world of social media and AI and all that, and this is what will endure. Hope will endure. Mm. Forgiveness will endure. Right. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oprah has finally addressed the controversy over Taraji P. Henson seemingly calling her out for lowballing her. And it looks like Oprah is now doing PR damage control because she's worried people will boycott the color purple. In case you missed out on this drama, Taraji, who stars in the new Oprah-produced adaptation of the color purple, made waves by revealing she almost walked away from the project over low pay. Taraji even says she's considering quitting acting for good because she hasn't seen a raise in her income since 2018. Another glass ceiling. When it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did and I'm just tired. tired. I'm tired. However, when the internet started calling out Oprah and pointing out that this is exactly what Monique tried to warn everyone about years ago, Taraji hopped on Instagram to say Oprah actually supported her. But see, fans are speculating that Taraji was forced by the studio to post the message because this whole drama went down just days before The Color Purple's release date. Right. And now, Oprah herself has addressed the comment in an Instagram post. But get this, she turned off the comments, not just on this post, but on all the posts she shared for the past couple of weeks. So what What's Oprah's explanation for Taraji almost walking away from the color purple? Did she actually support her? Or is this what her PR crisis team wants us that to believe? They probably want her Let's to get into it. That's all Everyone it is. wants to be Oprah's BFF. What makes you such a good friend? Well, I am so supportive. So the internet is once again turning on Oprah after she addressed the controversy surrounding Taraji P. Henson's comments about low pay, and it seems like the public has completely lost trust in Oprah. To give you some background, in the week leading up to the release of the new The Color Purple remake, co-produced and spoke out about pay inequality affecting black actresses, and revealed she almost had to walk away from The Color Purple because they tried to lowball her. I haven't, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. Almost had to walk away from color purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? Right. If it's all just for me, what the f Why are you here? And then in right. another interview with Oprah's best friend, Gail King, Taraji broke down, saying she's tired of being forced to fight for what she deserves. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. And Taraji isn't the first actress to speak mm -hmm. about this issue. Oscar winner Viola Davis yep. previously revealed that despite being hailed as the black Meryl Streep, she still right. doesn't get paid adequately. Mm -hmm. What they're getting paid, which is half of what a man is getting paid, well, we get probably a tenth of what a Caucasian woman gets. Right. And I'm number one on the call sheet. 
And then I have to go in and I have to hustle for my worth. Because once again, I got the Oscar, I got the Emmy, I got the two Tonys. I've done Broadway, I've done off-Broadway, I've done TV, I've done film, I've done all of it. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, let's Sigourney Weaver. They all came out of Yale. They came out of Juilliard. They came out of NYU. They had the same path as me. And yet, I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. Mm. But I have to get on that phone and people say, you're a black Meryl Streep. <laughs> ah, you are, and we love you. <laughs> we love you. There is no one like you. Okay, then if there's no one like me, you think I'm that? You pay me what I'm worth. Right. And then, That's of course, there's Monique, one of the rare industry figures who was brave enough to directly call out Oprah and accuse her of blackballing her. In 2009, Monique made a public statement claiming that Oprah had effectively shut her out of opportunities because Monique dared to ask for compensation regarding a press tour for the movie Precious, which was produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry and directed by Lee Daniels. Oprah and Tyler approached Monique about doing a press tour abroad, but they informed her there wouldn't be any payment for this. Monique stood her ground and declined the offer, and that's when things took a turn. Almost immediately, headlines started painting Monique as someone hard to work with and labeled her as difficult. difficult. But the only thing Oprah did to address Monique's comments was to say she didn't want to address them because Monique is, quote, too negative. Back what? in 2018, Oprah was asked by Global Grind why she never... How in the world she gonna say she is too negative because she's not a yes woman? So everything that you say, oh yeah, I take it, oh yeah, I take it, ain't nobody know. No, Harpo woman. No, ain't nobody no slave. Ain't nobody finna be working for no nickels and little pennies. And I do not blame her. Enough is enough. If you want somebody to work like a hedgehog and a puppy and a dog or whatever like that, then you gonna pay somebody. You and I finna just sit up there and just work somebody to death and then think ain't nobody, you ain't finna get nobody no money. No, you are not. No. People is getting tired of their crap. It don't matter what class you, well, us middle class and low class people, we are getting tired of that. And we can have the all other education that we want to have. It do not matter. They will give you what they think you gonna uh, give, and they will give somebody else something hot more, a better pay than you, and you could be doing way more than them. They could be doing the bare minimum, and you doing you taking up their slack, but they ain't gonna never open up their mouth and say nothing because they ain't finna get their stuff messed over because of you. I ain't seen it happen, witness it personally, got it did too. I know how they feel, and I, I ain't even no act. I'm just a <laughs> a working class person. I promise you. I know, but I, I'm I'm not doing it. They're not doing it. It just no, no. We all got families. We got to feed. You, me, everybody. We all got families. We got to feed and everything, and we ain't taking it no more. So if you ain't willing to pay, we ain't willing to work never publicly addressed Monique's accusations and Oprah said it's a we just gonna be hungry <laughs> we gonna be hungry it's so sad we're gonna have to do what we gotta do though that's when we have to like push through <laughs> we ain't trying to be hungry though <laughs> possible. It's a law that if you meet negative with negative, you will just have a combustive negative force of energy. And back then, a lot of people believed Oprah's narrative about Monique being negative. And no, she's not negative. She's just tired. She criticized Monique for calling tired. out Oprah and Tyler Perry. One of them was Steve Harvey, who said on his radio show, there's nothing he can do for Monique because she burned too many bridges. However, when Steve later invited Monique to his show, Monique exposed him for being two-faced and revealed that Steve told her in private he agreed with her, but was too scared to support her publicly. I got laid as difficult, my husband and I, and my husband is Sydney, who happens to be my manager. We got labeled as difficult because I said one word, and that was no. Now I said no to some very powerful people. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. I said no to Tyler Perry. I said no to Lee Daniels, and I said no to Lionsgate. What I would have appreciated from my brother was, had you picked up the phone, burned too many bridges, and there's nothing I can do. See, I would have appreciated had my brother called me up and said. Baby, let's talk. Because you doing that 
was a part of me being difficult. But not before that, though. Yes, baby. Y'all know my husband did nothing wrong, but none of y'all in real time, in real time, was strong enough to Let go him know. and Let say, him know. we can't throw our sister under the bus. But now that Taraji spoke out about being lowballed on Oprah's project, fans are finally giving Monique props for publicly going against Oprah. However, the story took a different turn after social media was flooded with negative comments about Oprah. So just days after Taraji's interview went viral, Taraji shared an IG post praising Oprah and claiming she's been nothing but supportive. Taraji shared a photo of her and Oprah posing during the Color Purple press tour and wrote in the caption, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. She has provided encouragement, guidance, and unwavering support to us all. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. It took one call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. Thank you, Miss Oprah, for all that you do. However, the message didn't land with fans, and many of them right. are convinced Taraji was pressured to post this right. because Oprah and the studio were probably worried about The Color Purple flopping. One fan commented on Taraji's post, Musk got the call once people started noticing the body language on TikTok. We still don't F with Oprah, but love you, Taraji. Right. And another fan wrote, blink twice if she or the industry is making you say Right. That. So when this didn't work, <laughs> Oprah tried to do some damage control herself and shared an Instagram post with a long message about Taraji. Oprah wrote, I've long admired Taraji. She can make you laugh, cry, cheer, and feel everything in between. But I had no idea she could sing. Taraji the actress, a force. Taraji the singer, a complete revelation. She then praised Taraji's portrayal of Suge Avery and added, Taraji, the stage is now yours and I already see the standing ovations for you. I'm fiercely welcoming Taraji to the Purple Sisterhood and I cannot wait for you to meet her version of Suge. Of course, Oprah also didn't forget to remind you all that the color purple is in theaters starting Christmas Day. And another thing she didn't forget to do was turn off the comments on this, as well as all posts she shared for the past two weeks. Oprah clearly anticipated what the reactions would be and she wasn't wrong because fans Fans are now calling her out even more, and they're saying it's too late for damage control. Right. One fan said, it finally hit most of y'all. She's never been a good person to begin with. And another person replied, she's not. Oprah is the black puppet for the disgusting Hollywood system. Did you see how quickly Taraji cleared Oprah's name? Taraji doesn't want to suffer the same fate as Monique. Monique needs an apology from everyone because she said this shit years ago. Right. But how do you feel about all this? Do you think Oprah's statement was genuine, or is this just damage control? Comment down below. Damage control. That ain't number pure ID. Damage control. And to Roger, she feel like she didn't got her hand a little too nasty. So now she want to try to pull that hand back. And I believe them people that made her uh, say that, so she can, so she can at least get her money or half of her money or whatever like that. Or they said they probably gonna sue her or something like that. Ain't no telling what them people done told her. I promise you, it's not. It is not no telling. What they didn't say to her to make her clear Oprah name. Now, Oprah probably could have, you know, tried to help her out or whatever like that. But do you think so? I don't really think so. This is me personally. I don't know. I really wouldn't put it past her. Maybe she had, maybe she said, give her a couple of dollars to shut her up. Maybe something like that. Maybe she said maybe she said that. I mean it's sad and disgusting. I feel so sorry for Taraji because she's let her out here putting her neck on the chopping board. So she and the next ladies on down the line behind her can actually be paid the amount that they deserve. Like it's crazy. You guys, you tell me what y'all thought about that video, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, you guys.